am so not a children person. Like, I literally never gave a shit about kids. I didn't want to hold your kid. I didn't want to see pictures of your kid. Like, I did not give a fuck about kids. I used to do a joke in my act about Amber Alerts. You guys get Amber Alerts? We all know them, right? First of all, did you guys know that your phone could make a noise that aggressive? <laughs> Holy shit, it sounds like velociraptors giving birth. <laughs> the first time it happened, I thought the aliens had landed. I was like, they found us. <laughs> Even now, I know what it is, but it's so scary. Like, did I steal the kid? <laughs> Is there a kid back here? And I did not give a shit about kids, so I always thought they should make an Amber Alert for people like me that's just way more mellow. <laughs> like, they should make an Amber Alert that's just, aww. <laughs> Neener. Aww. Wow, look, a kid went missing. sucks, but I'm not going to do shit about it. You want me to go chasing this Nissan Sentra? I don't think so. <laughs> Living with a baby is like getting PTSD in slow motion. I constantly smell phantom shit. I constantly hear crying. Sometimes it's the baby. I can't stand still anymore. I stand still and I'm automatically like. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. And babies are fucking manipulative. Oh, babies are not helpless. Oh no. Our baby will cry and it'll start off like normal crying. Like wah, wah, I'm hungry, wah, wah. But if two minutes go by and we haven't picked up the baby, oh the crying ramps up. Then it's like, wah, wah, I'm hungry, bitches. Get your asses in gear, wah, wah. And then if another two minutes go by and we still haven't picked up the baby, oh shit. This baby ramps it up to DEFCON 1. <laughs> the crying becomes like not only so loud, but also just devastatingly heartbreaking. The crying becomes like, have you seen the first 10 minutes of Up? <laughs> this baby is three weeks old. I'm pretty sure the baby has never seen a Pixar movie, but somehow the baby's like, oh my God! I can't believe his wife died! Spoiler alert for Up. <laughs> Sorry, the spoiler alert came after. Yeah, okay. My sister and I don't know shit about babies, which means we get to play this really fun game every day called, Oh my God, is the baby dead? <laughs> every day, every day. We just stare at it sleeping. We're like, did we kill it? <laughs> we needed help, which caused us to do the most insane thing that two Korean sisters raising a baby can do, which is that we actually told our parents about the baby. <laughs> and we were very on the fence. We had a whole plan. We were like, okay, we're gonna pretend like we're gonna do a huge fight. We can never be in the same room at the same time. You get the baby at Christmas. I'll take the baby at Easter. Like we had this whole plan. And it was, you know what makes it more complicated telling our parents is that my sister got pregnant via anonymous sperm donor using a turkey baster. Like, imagine explaining that shit to white parents. <laughs> and now imagine explaining it to Korean parents. Are you kidding? Their heads would fucking explode. <laughs> we don't know how to say sperm, donor, or turkey baster in Korean. 
They never taught that shit in Korean language school. 